everyone welcome back to my channel plants with amanda we're decorating in my classic catch-all happy planner i'm going to be decorating the november currently page if you have watched my channel before you know that i like to coordinate to the divider that's next to it and i think i found some stickers that will look really cute with this that's not from the modern meow sticker book um so yeah i had to look pretty um pretty good for them because I was having a hard time finding something, but I think these will be good. Um, we've got all the colors. We've got the dark, uh, you know, kind of orangish color in the middle of these flowers, and we got the peach, uh, peach, <laughs> pink, which is kind of like a peach, but anyway, and the blue, and the blue works perfectly too, so I'm really um, excited about that. So let's go ahead and get this page out and see what we can do. All right, so I used some of these stickers from another spread. I think it was my September monthly in my mini. And so a lot of times I'll kind of, once I use the stickers, I will, for the same season, I wouldn't use, you know, I wouldn't necessarily use them in, again in a different planner, but um, sometimes I do. In this, in this case, I want to. Okay, so I do want to pull in the house. Um, I think, yeah, let's pull the house in. If I don't tear the sticker up, you guys. I guess right down here. Very cute. All right. Um, well, and I didn't tell you guys that I do use this as a currently page in my catch-all happy planner. Uh, my mini, I do like dates, uh, special dates and holidays, birthdays, stuff like that. Um, but in my catch-all, I do a currently spread. So I fill in kind of like what I've, you know, been doing for the month or different things, different prompts or whatever. So I'm just looking through here right now. I'm kind of thinking I want to section this off because I'm wanting to use like, um, I don't know, something's just not, I don't know, <coughs> excuse me. I'm just thinking. And then I need to decide if I pull in the red in, but I don't want the red polka dots. I think the blue would look better. I'm gonna, do, I'm, I think I'm gonna do this. So what I'm gonna do is just kind of line it up against the line and then just trim it on both ends. And just not pulling it, well, look at that, you guys. Um, but just not pulling it super tight. I thought I had it covering both ends, but I guess I just need to move it down a little bit, huh? There we go. Okay, that's better. And now, um, let's do the books in this little section. They're crooked. Like that, and then I'm gonna trim that off. All right. I don't know what I'm doing here. It's a little different than I normally do. <laughs> I was thinking about maybe making little sections and kind of, um, and then just doing like currently prompts up here. I'm not sure yet. I like this pumpkin here. Yeah, we'll put this down here. 
I said pumpkin, but I meant the cluster of pumpkins and flowers, right? <laughs> to trim this too because I'm trying to keep it all inside here there we go so far so good uh, let me go ahead and pull I didn't pull box stickers let me do that real quick and I will be right back I think I found some that will work. I've got Mojo Jojo Plans winter boxes and she's got a pretty blue color in here. Um, I've got quite a few missing in this color. I've used a lot, but there's plenty to still choose from. And then Mojo Jojo Plans red boxes and more. We've got the dark red in that sticker book. And then I found this uh, pretty peach color. It's kind of a pinkish peach in the Happy Planner Jewel Tone boxes. Um, and then there's also in this same sticker book, um, this orangish color, which, I th and a, even a lighter peach. So I think between these, this will work. Um, let me stick this one back in here. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and start putting some boxes down. Let's go with a red box to start with. I'm just looking to see. I'm looking to see if I want to do a big, um, like a double box like this or the long box. I think I'm just going to go with this one. Um, the other thing I need to do before I put a bunch of boxes down is maybe to put some of these florals down. Uh, so let's do that too real quick. We've got the uh, several to choose from here. go ahead and pull these in. Kind of like that. I'm going to cut them though. I'm not going to, I don't I think. Hmm. Actually, I think I like it better over here. that. So, not that I'm completely comfortable, you know, creating YouTube videos and, you know, planning and, you know, on camera and stuff like that. I mean, I've gotten more comfortable as I've done this for a while now since um, I started my channel in um, the end of January of this year. So, I mean, I've been doing this for quite a while now. Um, the currently page is the one that proves the most uh, difficult for me. And I think it's just because you don't do them very often and it's just basically a blank page, which I enjoy, I like it. It gives you a lot more freedom, but it's also a little bit more of a challenge. You gotta, you know, be a little bit more creative um, to kind of come up with a design of what you like. And also one of my biggest things is getting the boxes straight which with the grid, uh, dot grid on the background here, that has helped a lot this year. Last year, the background I don't think was a dot grid. And so, yeah, it's been a little bit better with these layouts uh, once I got used to them. I'm just looking here at this other piece uh, or this other cluster as well to maybe um, kind of bring that on across and to bring those leaves in. I'm not sure if I want to though. So I'm gonna hold on to that. Okay, that's really cute though. I like that. Um, I like this one too. That might go on this side of the flower. Or excuse me, the, this. Hmm. I don't know. I kind of liked it here. It takes up a lot of room though. I was My thought with this was to break these up into little sections, which is kind of what I was doing so far. So I'm gonna hold on to this one too. Let this 
cute little hello sign too. Hmm. That's cute hanging off of that box there. Move it over just a little bit. Okay, I like that. All right, we need more boxes. So we have the red, the blue, and the jewel tone boxes, whichever ones we end up using out of there. I can make my own boxes too if I need to so with the outside edges. I've done that before. All right, we're going to go ahead and put this one here. I'm going to white out underneath there, but I want to make sure that I want that there, though. And then let's see what we have in here. It's cute. I don't know. Okay, I think I want to try this taller one first. And then we'll have one coming off of this, maybe in the red. I don't know how many prompts I will use. I guess just however many boxes I end up with. Kind of like that. And then... I don't know. This is where I struggle the most with these spreads, you guys. Um, I, um, the decorative part, I'm good. It's laying these boxes out. It throws me off. That's not bad. It just needs more pink. That pink is getting um, kind of buried because it's so light. What if I did a smaller blue sticker? I don't tear up everything. <laughs> Take it from this angle here. Yeah, it's tearing. Let me get my undo. I did buy some more undo. Can't remember if I've told you guys that. That is a getting low it's not I mean it's still got a good amount in there but I um, didn't know how long it would take to get to me because it's sometimes it takes a while to to ship and so I went ahead and ordered some I have a link for it in my description box if you guys ever uh, need it and actually most everything I use as far as tools and um, uh, tweezers and scissors and all that good stuff. I, I do have links in my box in my description box for those. Okay, smaller blue box is what we need, I think. On, but I don't know if I have the right size. I don't, but I can make one. So when you have um, the extra, the over bleed, I guess it's called, from where you pull your stickers out, you can take your um, craft knife and cut around it. And I usually use a straight edge to do this just so I, so that it's nice and uh, straight and not, cause I mean, if I tried to freehand it, I might could do it, but I probably would mess it up. <laughs> and I just cut as close to the edge as I can so that I don't have as that much white overhanging, but it's okay if you have the white, it's not gonna hurt anything. Be careful not to let your straight edge move. And I just did on that one, but it's okay. I think it worked okay. All right, then the other thing you need to do is get some white sticker paper, just full sheet white sticker paper is what I use. And I take the excess and just put it down on that sticker paper and let it kind of fall into place. You have to be careful. It'll get out of shape really easy, um, but it does pretty good if you just let it kind of lay down and then you just cut it out and you have a sticker, a box sticker. 
I've got junk on my scissors, so I have to clean it off. There we go. And I just cut it as close to the blue as I can because I don't want to stick it down and have a lot of white around the edges. take it apart. There we go. Okay, yeah, that's better. I'll still wipe that out underneath it if I, once this box is uh, set. <laughs> Okay, so we'll bring this one down here and we'll leave this one up here. And what else? I think that's probably good. Um, it looks a little crooked, but I'm not gonna mess with it. Okay, I think this is good. So let's go ahead and white out. That red box underneath there is so dark that you have to kind of, you don't have to, but I like to white out underneath it. It just makes the spread look a little nicer. And if you go over a little bit, you can scratch it off with your finger. It's no big deal. Your fingernail, rather. All right. better and let's do this one too. All right, much better. I love it. Okay, that's really cute. All right, so we'll put some currently prompts down in a few minutes, but let's go ahead and keep working on the decorations. Um, I could even put another couple of box stickers over here for some more prompts if I wanted to. Um, which we may do, uh, we may do that. So let's see. Let's hold that there for just a minute. And I really like the wagon. I don't think I have room for it though. <laughs> I don't, well, I might if I just kind of did that. Let's see here. Kind of like that. And then the box kind of over it. Kind of like that. That's cute. Um,. Hmm. And then maybe um, the little candle. No, because if the candle's next to those books, this candle is a ginormous candle. Y'all know I don't like that. <laughs> I like it to be somewhat symmetrical if it's, um, well, I don't know if that's the right word. Symmetrical? That means like the same on both sides. I don't know. Maybe I don't even know what I'm talking about. Um, but I like it to be, have some, some kind of uh, symmetry. I guess that's the right word. I don't know. I can't think of another word. Um, we're going to go ahead and leave the wagon here. All right. That's cute. All right. What else? I should have whited that out, but it's okay. I'm not going to go back and do that now. That's a little bit busy up there if I try to do that with that. I was thinking about maybe putting these up here somehow. And like I said, I don't know. I could put another 
prompt in them. But I don't know if I want it to cover up the books. Hmm. If I move the books over, maybe it wouldn't cover them up as bad. Let's see. Let's try it. Let's just see. Let that dry for a minute. Okay, I'm gonna, before I cut that, I wanna see if this will work. So that would work. I don't have to have the third box up there. Actually, that's probably, um, yeah, that works. I'm gonna leave it like that. I'm gonna cut this. When I cut without a straight edge, sometimes it's just because I can kind of feel the sticker underneath there, but sometimes it's just, it's harder to do, I don't know. It just depends on what it is, on whether I use a straight edge or not. Cause I know I just talked about that. If, I don't know, maybe that was another video. I can't remember you guys, I filmed, this is like my third video I filmed today. Okay, that works, I like that a lot. Um, so we just need to do something with that because I don't wanna leave that open. Um, let's go ahead and white it out and we'll figure something out for it. So maybe, maybe, um, I'd like maybe a little pumpkin up there, but these are too big actually. This little picture might not be too much. Yeah, it is. <laughs> This is probably too big, yeah. These are some cute stickers though. I love the artwork on these, they're so pretty. Colors are really pretty combination that we don't normally see together. Um, so yeah, those are cute. That's a good size, but I don't wanna mess up the door. Um, I don't have another one, yeah, I don't wanna do that. Maybe this one. might be okay. Straighten it up a little bit. Well, I think I made it worse. <laughs> so I think if I cut this off at the, the line, and maybe a little washi tape or something to kind of separate that out and to cover up all that white out. I think that'll look cute. And I just literally cut the bottom of that book off y'all. Let me see, maybe I can salvage it. We'll use the straight edge wherever it's at. I don't know what to do with it. Oh, there it is because I don't want the uh, red to be cut off. I just want the white sticker off of there. There we go. That's better. That's better, okay. That's good. And I think I do want a little bit of washi tape or something underneath there to kind of break that section apart and I think it's gonna be good. Let's see what I can find. Okay, so I found this cute little red and white polka dot from Happy Planner. Um, that's perfect actually, the color and everything. So let me see if I can, 
make this work. And then also, if, of course, I'm gonna wanna use it somewhere else in the spread. If it's that cute, I can't just use it in the one spot. Here, we'll trim this side, actually. So the sticker needs to be trimmed, too. There we go. Okay, that's really cute. I kind of want to bring it down here under this box. I just want to see what it's going to look like. Hmm, is that too much? Or does it not need that? Maybe up here? No, that's too much. I don't know. Do I need to put it somewhere else? Hmm. I don't know. I feel like I need to, but I don't know where. Hmm. I don't know. This has something on the bottom of it. Let me... No, I think we're good. I think it's, um, I think that works, even though it's just a little bit there. It is really cute. If I'd have had it earlier in the spread, I might could have incorporated it more in there. Um, but I think this is really cute. Let's find some currently props and we'll be done. All right, so my go-to currently props come from Anna Bean Paper Company, her Florals Volume 1 sticker book. This book is still available. The last time I checked, I'll link it down below. Uh, but in the back of it, it's got florals in it and boxes and um, uh, some decorative boxes also that match the colorful boxes. But in the back are a bunch of prompts and there's it's currently prompts, there's action words, you know, like appointment, to do, things like that. Um, and also some journaling prompts in the very back. And so I think what I want to do, I've never used the journaling prompts, but I think I want to use one in this big box here. And so I think I want to, you know, November being, um, a lot of times in November, people focus on gratitude. Uh, I do have my gratitude uh, and hand lettering planner that I use, but I think I want to use a uh, journaling prompt in this box. And I want to use the one that says, I am blessed because, and I can think of a lot of reasons and ways that I'm blessed. So I'll put that in here see if I can fit it in there. Hmm. I don't, it's okay. I'm going to go ahead and do it because I don't, I, I want to use the sticker and it's okay that it goes over on that part just a little bit. Well, I can't really see it. Hold on. <laughs> okay. We can, um, actually, I'm going to do this. I'm going to move it over just a little bit closer to the edge of this box almost as close as I can get it. And I think that'll make it make a difference. You know what? We're just gonna move it down just a little bit. That's good. There we go, that's better. Okay, so I'll put something there for that. And on the currently prompts, Let's do, um, let's do reading, and that I will put here. It'll just be like a one word or a couple words there. Um, focusing on. put that one here. And then let's go ahead and do, um, so that'll be for there, that'll be in there. We need something that's gonna be a one or two word answer for this box and this box. What about loving? Here. And then 
helping. It's a good one. And I want to find one for down here. I had I seen one a minute ago when I was looking through before. Oh, here's a good one. It says gratitude. So maybe I could put that over here. And then up here, let's go ahead and say, we can do a one word answer on this one too. So let's go ahead, let's put planning. We're gonna be planning lots of things coming up with the holidays coming, Thanksgiving, Black Friday shopping. And I can't get that out because I can't see it. <laughs> there we go. That works. Okay. So cute. I love, 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 love this spread. It's so cute. Let's put it in the planner so we can see what it's gonna look like with the divider. Actually, I'm gonna punch it though. Let's use our We Are Memory Keepers Disc Power Punch is what this is. It's always linked in my description box. And I, you can pick it up at a craft store with a coupon. Um, or if you, for convenience, you can get it off Amazon. It's, a, it's not as cheap, um, but they have it um, for a pretty reasonable price. I do have a link for it below. And there we have it. Uh, let's see here. Get it in the planner. There we go. I love it. I love how it turned out and I love how it looks with this divider. Let's recap our sticker books real quick. We had uh, Whimsical Fall by Live Love Posh. Currently prompts came from Anna Bean on a Mission, sticker book Florals Volume 1, and all of our boxes came from Mojo Jojo Plans, Red Boxes and More, uh, Winter Boxes, and then from the Happy Planner, Jewel Tone Boxes. I'll have all these listed below. If I can find them, I'll link them for you. And so yeah, I hope you like this spread. If you did, hit that thumbs up button. And if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the subscribe button in the bottom right-hand corner of your screen. We'll see you next time. Bye!